For this video, we're going to be talking about evaluating functions within the function notation, of course. So function notation, we have the function of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 5. This is our input value. This is going to give us our output. Okay, Independent variable, dependent variable. All right, so all that mumbo jumbo out of the way. Uh, we're asked to evaluate these values given this function. Now this would seem rather intuitive, but for some reason we get a lot of mistakes in, in, the, in the past. So let's start with evaluating f of negative 1. So for this equation, we have f of negative 1. We're just going to replace negative 1 where everywhere we see an x. And then we just simplify. Okay, so negative 1 squared is 1, plus negative 1 is minus 1, minus 5, and we're left with negative 5. So f of negative 1 equals negative 5. So that's saying the value of the function, the value of the function at negative 1 is equal to negative 5. That's what this statement is saying. And that's done. That's all you do. Let's try the next one, f of 6. So we're going to replace all the x's with a 6. Okay, so 6 squared is 36, plus 6 minus 5. 36 plus 6 minus 5 is going to give us a 37. So f of 6 is equal to 37. The function value of 6 the function value at 6 is equal to 37. Now how about f of a? We're going to use a variable this time. So that means we're just going to replace all the x's with an a. So instead of writing x squared, I'm going to write a squared. Instead of writing plus x, I'm going to write plus a, and then minus 5. Now we simplify all we can, and it doesn't look like we can do that, so that's it. That's it for that variable. Okay. Now these are two, uh, three basic examples. Let's, I'm going to show you one that's a little bit more tougher. All right, this time we were given uh, the f of x function, and we're asked to find f of x plus 1. Okay, so instead of writing x, we're going to write x plus 1. So let's start that here. f of x plus 1 is equal to, instead of writing x, I'm going to write x plus 1. So you see that I just replaced each x with an x plus 1. That's all I did so far. And now we're just going to simplify. Uh, to simplify this little guy, you're going to use the FOIL method. And I'm not going to reteach that because you should already know that. So that's what it will come out to after you use the FOIL method. If you have any questions, email me and I'll send you a supplement video. x plus 1 minus 5. And now we combine all of our like terms. All the x squareds go together. All the x's go together. And all the constants go together. That's all we can do. So f of x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 3. After watching those clips, you should be able to do these 16 problems. If you have any issues, make sure to contact me. I'll make a supplemental video if I need to. If not, safe travels.